when you move into a new role or have a new boss, it's super important that you figure out your boss's preferred communication style. This can extend to actually all of your team members. With your boss, it's incredibly important that you have a positive relationship with them. So maintaining this relationship starts out by paying attention to how they prefer to communicate. So say you have a boss that prefers a phone call over an email or prefers some Teams or Slack message, whatever it is, you should verbally ask this boss what they prefer and then do it. This doesn't have to be that hard. And this extends to other team members around you as well. So I know my older team members that I interact with, sometimes they prefer phone calls and I'll ask them what they prefer. And then I literally listen, I actively listening to what they say and I go and do what they ask. This shouldn't be mind blowing information, but it's something that I wanted to bring up because I do see people not listening to those around them and then questioning why they're not getting good results. At the same time, you can ask people if they want certain things, but you also should maybe try out alternate ways to communicate with them. As you raise your social intelligence, you can really figure out if people are being truthful when you're talking with them. So say you want to call them or you want to email them. Maybe you have a nuanced topic I definitely prefer to talk on the phone when it comes to nuanced topics because it could take a really long time to draft an email that gets across the technical crux of the information while also not being able to be misconstrued because you never want to write what you can say and you never want to say what you can mime. So if you have something that could be particularly contentious, you should be careful about putting that into writing. Having a phone call conversation could be an easier way to get across it as well as maybe a softer way for you to bring certain particular topics up. As you raise your social intelligence, you also could consider trying the other ways to communicate with this person and see if you can actually get some more information out of them than what they overtly tell you to do. So this seems like I'm trying to ask you to head it both ways. And what I'm trying to tell you to do here is listen to what they say and then also listen to what they do. So if they say they want this, and they respond better to a different thing, then do what they ask, but then also consider doing the different thing, depending on the urgency of your request and how good of a relationship you want with this person. So again, you wanna be listening to what the person says, but also truly listen to what their actions are and what they do. I trust you've been paying attention to this social intelligence video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay, click that link below and schedule a call with me today.